we start with our building blocks. Aww. Aww. And I think if you're anything like me, you've already messed up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's touching the dice already, guys. <laughs> um, this, ready. This, I think, this this messing up is something that we all do. We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to have difficulties and issues in what it is that we're trying to do because we haven't done it before. Or if we have, we're trying something new and we're pushing on those boundaries into a space where we're not comfortable. We're no longer masters. We're now back to being brand new adventurers in our own story. So I think it's really important when we're doing this to understand that as we move forward into these unknown areas, okay. we're really a guide without a guide. We're the leading, blind leading the blind. <laughs> we are, in fact, um, despite our best efforts. And that's okay. It's okay to feel a little lost. It's okay to feel a little unsure about what's going on. Is it because the DM is the guide for the... Well, the, the, the DM is the technically campaign. kind of the guide, right? right. And, and there's nothing to guide you, or is there? Well, and if you look as at the DM as a leadership leadership position, mm-hmm. most leadership positions don't have anyone to really lead them because you are the leader. Right. You right? you work on whatever somebody else is giving you yeah. a mentor or whatnot. But in this case, if you're if you're hacking through the jungle, setting your hacking own trail. Through the jungle. Right. Um, you might need to start with something that you don't need. And that is going to be, yeah, I know, I know, I'm sorry. But that's going to be a DMG or a Dungeon Master's Guide or equivalent in whatever system you're playing. Do you need it? Absolutely not. No. But does it help? It might, right? It might help you to understand some of the rules, some of the ideas. Maybe that's just going to, you're going to read it and then you're going to glean inspiration from it. And you go, oh, that's what I want to have in my campaign. I want it to have this flair, this thing, this thing. I want to track all the weight and all the rations and all the gold. Or maybe you <laughs> don't, right? And these sorts of things. I want to do all the downtime. All the downtime. We're just going to downtime. We're not actually going to adventure. It's slice of life. Um, <laughs> I want to know about all the deities. Wait. I don't know anything about the deities. I'm never going to damn cheat. Oh, yeah. The, they're all bad. Um, <laughs> so it's. It's, it's an interesting thing, but don't necessarily think or, or prescribe yourself to have the crutch of needing the printed material oh, yeah. in order to cement your position behind the screen. Mm. It's, not, it's not required. No. You don't need to know it. You don't need to study it. Should you have a grasp on it? Maybe a little bit. Right. But do you need to know it cold? No, no, no. Right. That's not necessarily it is one of the functions that a DM can offer, but it's not required. So if you have a great story to tell, you tell the story. Yes. And we'll figure it out as we go along. Well, the expertise will come Mm -hmm. the more you do it. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you you don't have the expertise when you start. You're not going to. No. And you, you have to start. You have and to you're do not it. supposed to, right? This, exactly. is, this is exactly what I'm saying, mm-hmm. is you need to guide yourself into the unknown without necessarily someone there to help you, but there are people to help you. You just got to jump. And those are the people. <laughs> Don't jump. Uh, <laughs> those are the people. Into the, the story. Into the story. <laughs> into the role. Into the role, yes. So one of the things that you might be asking yourself, since you now know that you may or may not need a DMG or equivalent. Okay. Is... How are you thinking about what it is that you're trying to tackle? I am asking myself that. I I think that we break down our idea of starting a new game. I think this is the reason why this is part one, is because we are starting to build a campaign. That's what this is. Build a campaign 101. This Mm -hmm. is before you have all the other kind of uh, boundaries and anchorings that are slowing you or stopping you from doing certain things, this is the boundless area of creativity that we're entering into right now. So when you're thinking about your story, do you think small to big or do you think big to small? The story specifically? Not the story, but the campaign itself. The campaign itself, itself. yeah, okay. Do you have this beautiful, like, uh, Tolkien-esque Lord of the Rings, massive, uh, massive epic fantasy going on? Do you have a one-shot that takes an hour to play, Mm -hmm. right? What is the story that you're trying to tell? What do you see? 
Remember, this is your world. Even if it's a module, this is your world. This is your choice. Okay? Mm. However you think about it, it's not wrong. That's just how you're thinking about it. I just want to I want to know how you're doing that because it's going to matter in the long run how we start working on this campaign. Well, and there's no wrong way like you're saying, right? Cuz some people naturally start small mm-hmm. and work up. Some people work big and then work down. Right. Right. And we proved that in a previous episode yes. as we as we Disney <laughs> princessized. What is wrong with you? How do you start there? <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same, completely different. Yeah. So, so however you do it, big to small, small to big, I want, I think, to remind you if you're new at this or if you're revisiting this to practice sharpening these skills, at this point when we're imagining the campaign, its first iteration, let there be light sort of moment. Oh. I think we Made need to in the image focus. Of God. <laughs> we need to focus, present tense, on the forest, not the trees. I think at this point, it's it's time that we get into the broad strokes, into the idea that we're working on everything, not necessarily simultaneously. Maybe we're going to shift our focus around, but we don't need to get hung up on the nitty gritty yeah. details at this point because we're living in the idea of conception and the role of creativity mm-hmm. in generating all of this new stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. This is working on the practice of finished, not perfect. Right. Having an idea and putting it aside and moving on to the next idea and moving on to the next Mm -hmm. idea, moving on to the next idea, because we don't know what we're going to end up with now. Right. This is this could turn out completely opposite to what we thought just in the way that we go through it. We really don't know what the finished product looks like at this point. And I, and I don't think no. you can, even if you're using inspiration and motivation from things that have crystal clear points in your mind that you're drawing off of, mm-hmm. that combination is still formless. The combination still doesn't have a necessary end point that we're looking at. Well, and that's the fun thing about designing a new campaign too. It's like, where is, are these ideas going to mm-hmm. bring me to? What's this cool creative as, thing that's going to come out? As long as it doesn't overwhelm you. Mm-hmm. That's why you start. That's that's why yeah. sometimes we start small and we grow big because we need to control that evolution of our mm-hmm. thought. Sometimes we need to have a whole map of an entire continent in front of us. And then we go, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's all coming again. Mm-hmm. Right. However, it is that you start, start there. But just be aware of not getting yourself overwhelmed by drawing in all the tiny details, oh, but yes. starting your campaign over here. Yeah. Right. Like it, it doesn't work and it's only going to cause you to kind of burn yourself out or give you the wrong feeling as you go through mm. it because you will be grinding up that hill Sisyphus style. And that ain't no fun. That ain't no fun. So the thing that I never knew, but I always did when developing campaigns. You didn't know, but you did know. I didn't but know. You didn't it. know that you knew. I, it. I didn't know it, but I did it. Okay. Right. Is. As Instinct. the DM, <laughs> uh, is to answer the question, what do I want? I think as the, as the game runner, the DM, the leadership position, quotations around all of those, I think quite often we sometimes forget hmm. that we need to have fun too. Yes. And that's not fun by like beating down the PCs. That's not fun by Please don't. making all the players cry. That's not, it might be. It might I mean, be both yes. of those, it might be. It depends right. on your table, right? Some people <laughs> like a good cry. Beat me down. Um, Please. But it's, it's very important that what we're developing has to be fun to us. Now, unless you're building something that you're selling off to a third party that's going to publish and whatnot, and it's fun for other people. Yeah, you still kind of want that product to be fun, fun enough that you would play it or else why are you making it? Mm. Right. Why are you putting your name and attaching it to that? Well, and it's going to be a decent chunk of work. So hopefully you're, you're passionate about whatever you're creating. Mm-hmm. It'll push you through, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so that's why as we're developing this, as we're answering these questions, as we're making decisions, small, big, big, small, where do I want to start? What do I want to feel? Broad strokes are going to make for a better big picture. 
at this point, Mm -hmm. right? The layers, the detail, that's going to come in later. And we need to give ourselves permission. You can asymmetrically build your world. That's perfectly fine. Whole bunch of time and development over here. Why? Because that's where my campaign's going to exist. I'm going to develop lore. I'm going to develop story and monsters and whatnot that fits into that and feeds them in to think about how this is a whole world. But is that campaign detail necessary? No, it's not. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we don't need to overwhelm ourselves with that. Mm -hmm. So while we're looking at this painting metaphor with the layers and the details and whatnot, asking yourself, what is the big picture? And if you're new, it's too big. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go on another limb here. Yeah. But unilaterally, the big picture that you're picturing is too big for you to handle. You don't even know. (laughs) You don't even know it. Right? And and that's okay because we're young and we're full of energy and we're full of mirth. And that's great. But we haven't set the most important thing. And this is the mistake. The mistake that I have made so many times, and you probably have as well. Who are the players? Is we <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get players. <laughs> um, is the scope. Mm. Yes. Define your scope. Yes. Right? Where is it taking place? What is it going to look like? What, even within the world, on that whole rolled out sheet of cookie dough, I'm still going to cut out the shapes to make the Mm -hmm. cookies. The players are going to enjoy the cookies, not the rolled out dough. Right. Right? That's what we need to look at. And pro tip, you're still too big. (laughs) Even after you've Mm. narrowed it down, that is... Still not fat trimmed, not kind of necessarily table ready, right. not necessarily presentation wrapped up in a bow. That scope is probably too big. I mean, it might be a good problem to have. Maybe better than being too small. <sighs> you know, you can always add. Yeah. <laughs> but, but if you get too overwhelmed, right, and then you don't feel like you've put enough time or effort or detail into things, mm-hmm. and people are smashing through things that they shouldn't have or what, right. whatever it is, whatever feedback or criticisms you're getting maybe later down the road that you didn't expect because you didn't spend enough time where we should have spent the time. You know, I changed my mind. Too big, too small. It's fine. As long as you're doing it. Correct. Really. Keep, you'll figure it out. Trust the process. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. But in general, we do start too, too big, big when we set our first scope. First scope. Also probably too How big. How many scopes do you want from me? A microscope. Um, oh, macro scope. So, so when we get going, right, you can ask yourself, what did I do wrong as we go through this? And it's probably you got overwhelmed Every in your first. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's, <laughs> he's wrong. He's that little bad guy on your shoulder. Get Gary away. Oldman, be quiet. Uh, Stop it. <laughs> what, what did Gary Oldman do? He's the one who says that in his movie. It's, it's the Gary uh, Oldman movie starring the, Gary the, Oldman. Directed in every by Gary single Oldman. one of his movies. <laughs> All no, the Gary Oldman movies. <laughs> the professional. He didn't say it in all his other movies, but it goes in his mind. Yeah, that's one microphone tab. Now, everything. No, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. You just so, so the truth is that we should be aiming they know. small. You know. You know. You know about Gary Oldman. I apparently don't know about Gary Oldman. Except that he's there. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yes. The truth is, is that we should try and aim a little bit smaller than we think. Yep. Okay. Yes. Especially for scope and, and where we're going. That big picture, make that big picture a little bit smaller. Yeah. Like right. this, I think I think is good. I cut down a little bit. Right. Because we can always we can always pat it out and we can add yes. back in. Yes. But for the first kind of cuts, for that kind of originating what the garment is going to look like mm-hmm. at the end, we have to trim it out from the roll. Right. Mm-hmm. And and they say it all the time in, in shooting, you know, aim small, miss small. That doesn't mean aim for a small target so that you miss the whole thing by a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That means that if you aim for a small target, that you're going to miss the little target and still hit the big target. Oh, yeah, okay. Right? okay. Right? Instead of missing the whole thing entirely by a little bit. Yeah, because I thought, like, that means you also achieve small too, <laughs> but I get it no, now. No, no, no. I get it. We're aiming small so that we hit our target. Mm. And if we're a little bit outside of bounds, because we're 101, because we're building our experience and our right. skill okay. and our skills in doing this, almost hitting the bullseye is pretty awesome. It's, yeah. It's pretty awesome, right? Even coming close, especially on your first try or especially on the first time that you're trying a new set of skills or a new thing at the table, 
almost nailing it right out of the gate. Pretty awesome feeling. Well, and you talking about defining your scope. It's so important to do that because your scope is your target, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Without setting your scope first, you don't know if you've hit or not. Mm-hmm. You're sort of willy-nilly. Is it I'm doing good? Am I mm-hmm. doing bad? Or do I have to get closer? Closer to what? I don't know. Mm-hmm. You need that scope first. Right. Yeah, right. I like it. And we've talked about some of that stuff before in some of our other ones. So we encourage you to go back and watch some of our campaign stuff. Definitely. But the thing that I really want to impress here is that, is, is just that big picture that we're looking at, narrow down what it is that we are going to flush out. Mm. Narrow down what it is, that campaign question that we want to answer, that area that they're going to, so don't necessarily have them traipsing all over if we don't need that. Mm-hmm right? Shout out travel. It's got to absolutely be necessary. And I'm not going to go too deep, right? Once again, we're one-on-one-ing. But I do want to kind of leave you with the idea of that perfect bite that we keep bringing up. Love it. You should be able to ascertain what that flavor, that aroma is going to be. And you can hone in on it, right? Like a demon slayer. You can get in there. Oh, you know if you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't even play. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what we're trying to look for is to find that core nugget of the inspiration that's guiding you to set that as a, like a North Star mm. so you can follow that all the way in to hit that small target, to hit that star a million miles mm-hmm. away, right? That's what we're looking for. And okay. in order to do that, we got to give our campaign a little high five. But I'm going to talk about that. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What's the sound of one man high-fiving himself? Sean. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty awesome sound. That's, that's, <laughs> what, it's just, that's why we have a screen as DM. So we're back there just patty <laughs> kicking. Yourself? Just patty kicking the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, the players are, are, I, are RPing. Yes. Yes. I yes, made them I, do that. I, I, I need them do that. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I think to to leave you and, and pass it on, because I know, Sean, you've got stuff to talk about oh. here as well, probably more than me. But what you see is not what you get when you start mm. the creative arts, uh-huh. right? It's all about adding those layers, changing, fixing, uh-huh. removing, adding back in, right? The initial creation is probably not what your Frankenstein is going to look like. Right. Or your monster, your Frankenstein. Um <laughs> real masters are the ones that have done this so often that they make these changes look graceful and without effort. That skill is I'll hiding. Make this look easy. Yeah, is hiding all those friction in the bumps <laughs> yep. that you're discovering now. You're supposed to hit these bumps. You're supposed to hit you have to. brick walls mm. in quotations in your mind because you you have to. Yeah. And you will learn more from that and become stronger in the long run you might be messing up right now oh if your first step isn't to uh subscribe to like this particular video to go back to basics the basics the algorithm